My name is Josh Huber, and I am the pro project manager for the redevelopment agency. And since uh, thanks. So a couple things before we get going. Um, first, I want to recognize a couple people uh, who helped put this thing together just here today, the event itself. Cindy Sheridan and Deepa Vikant Ram were, uh, I just couldn't have done it without them, and I really appreciate all their help, truth be told. They pretty much did the whole thing. So please, a round of applause for them. <laughs> it's like pretty much everyone has, uh, has come about tonight. Um, current mayor, Bob Wasserman, and Alan Heyman over here on my left. We're going to hear from them in just a little bit. We also have uh, the vice mayor over here, Bob Wykowski. Council members Bill Harrison and Suzanne Chan. We also have former mayor Gus Morrison is in the crowd from what I hear. Oh, there he's right in front of me. Oh, Anu, I'm sorry. Also Anu, Anu Natarajan, current council member, is also right here. Judy Zlatnik, a former council member, is also right there. Um, from HARB, that's the uh, from HARB, we have David Price, Al Menard, and Andrew McRae in the audience. We also have Lori Emanuel from the Art Review Board. Dr. Rakesh Sharma from the, from the Planning Commission. So, here we are, finally. Redevelopment project, years in the making. We spent a uh, million dollars on an environmental cleanup on this land right here. Took out 11,000 tons of contaminated soil, and 11, another 11 tons of creosote coated wood. Total cost of about seven and one quarter million dollars. So, um, the process has been a long one. There are a lot of people here who know a lot more about it than I do, and we're going to start hearing from them right now, starting with the mayor of Fremont, Bob Wasserman. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be in contentious Niles. <laughs> see, see, some of us are proud of that. Uh, it's right. Anu, I'm sure glad you could make it too today. <laughs> I, I'm sitting here thinking, if, if this train were down at the other end, I wouldn't have to look out into the sun. So maybe we'll think about changing that. I don't know. <laughs> um, Josh mentioned a lot of people, and I, and I want to uh, also thank, there's so many people that took part in uh, making this, making today happen, and uh, I'm not going to try to, there, there are more too, and I'm not going to try to name them all because I'll miss, but I do, I do want to acknowledge uh, one person who's been very actively engaged in this and, and has served as a uh, a guide through all of the, uh, you know, all of the travails that we've gone through, and and that is, and he'll be speaking this pretty soon too. That is uh, Alan Heyman. I know him a special place. Well, I want to thank the Niles community for its valuable input, which helped shape the plaza design and made it uniquely the community's own and also to thank them for the patience it's been i i'm guessing about 10 years does anybody know more precise around 10 years in the making um, as you take a moment to look around at the plaza can you imagine a backdrop more breathtaking than the palm trees uh, framing the hills and the nile sign the plaza's design strongly reflects the rich history of Niles. We have right in front of us here, and, and I have to admit that Alana Diaz had to remind me what those were, but there's the railroad tracks right, right here in front of you, uh, into the thing. And when the fountain is finished, you're, you'll have signs of the, uh, the movie industry in Niles. So, 
it's it, there's been a lot of attention paid to the to the design of this really super plaza. Uh, the freight building will house the Tri City Society of model engineers who will use the building to display their model trains, while the passenger depot will house historic displays related to railroad history. And of course, the silent film industry is woven to the design of the fountain, as I just mentioned. Yeah, excuse me, Fred Diaz, city manager. It's a great day to, to be here. Thank you. Um, the reason, we had a special introduction for Councilmember Nandarajan, for it was her who made this day sort of a Chamber of Commerce postcard day possible. Many people don't know about that skill she has, but <laughs> along with the rest of the city council, the mayor, uh, this was um, not an easy project to go through. It was one that everybody had a vision for, certainly, uh, but then consensus was, I think, the, the trick. And we knew when we were there, the council made the tough decision to say, okay, we've had enough, it's time to move forward. But there was certainly a huge effort on a, that was undertaken to get to this point that really had a lot of elements of what the community brought forward. That's a great thing about it. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Josh. With the opening of the Town Plaza, the Niles community will have a central location to hold many of their special events throughout the year. Over time, we may be back here for new events such as concerts, picnics, and a farmer's market, and who knows what else. The City of Fremont and the Fremont Redevelopment Agency are looking to this community gathering place and all events that take place here to enhance the community character of Niles. The plaza, we hope, will be a destination for many visitors to Niles, both new and returning ones. Although Niles is often referred to as a district that is somewhat isolated due to, due to its location, we all know it's a true Fremont gem. It's cool. Uh, very good, Josh. And Bob Cockbrenner, whose title is Development and Construction Service Manager. I'm not quite sure I know what that is, but I cannot say enough about Bob. He has been the one, the driving force behind this plaza. He has put his heart and soul, not only into the plaza, but to make sure that the two buildings were restored as close as possible to the original. Just as an example, he has spent days trying different shades of paint to make sure they were the right ones, which includes the caboose. Spent a lot of time on that. He has spent his weekends here making sure everything was right. He has come to every property owner's meeting with updates, timelines, and drawings and listen to us ramp and rave and make suggestions and always kept his cool. What a fabulous job he has done. I'm not sure if he's here, but he did wonderful. Okay, look to your, uh, my right, your left. They're about to cut the ribbon over there by the trees. One, two, three, go. Thank <laughs> you. 